So I want to go back to con uh, Senator Gardner's questions. You claimed earlier that the Holocaust denial and threats of Jewish gen genocide by Iran's terrorist Ayatollah don't violate Twitter's so-called rules and that it's important for world leaders like Iran's terrorist leader to have a platform on Twitter. So let me ask you this, who elected the Ayatollah? Um, I don't know. You don't know? Okay. Uh, I think this is called a dictatorship. So are people in Iran allowed to use Twitter or does the country whose leader you claim deserves a platform ban them from doing so? Uh, ideally, we would love for the people of Iran to, to use Twitter. Yeah. Um, well, Iran bans Twitter, and Mr. Zuckerberg, I know you are aware, they ban Facebook also. So, Mr. Dorsey, is Donald Trump a world leader? Yes. Okay. So, it would be important for world leaders to have access to your platform, correct? Correct. And so... Why do you deny that platform via censorship to the U.S. president? We haven't censored the U.S. president. Oh, yes, you have. How many posts from Iran's terrorist Ayatollah have you censored? Um, How many posts from Vladimir Putin have you censored? We have, we have labeled tweets of world leaders. Uh, we have a okay. policy okay. around not taking down the content, but simply adding more president. context around it. Okay. And the U.S. president, you have censored 65 times. You testified that you're worried about disinformation and election interference. That is something we all worry about. And, of course, for about 100 years, foreign sources have been trying to influence U.S. policy in U.S. elections. Now they're onto your platforms.